Mark Krumi from iBox Springs, are you on the call? Are you there? I am. All right, right on. I don't have a good screen, so I can't see you very well. I'm just going to stare into this camera and hope that it looks like I know what I'm doing. It's but, very uh, organic looking. It's very organic. <laughs> it is, right? Right? Yeah. A little stressful from this end, but it's all good. <laughs> so, so this is a new thing that we're doing. It's sponsor speed dating. 10-minute sessions, one-on-one, -on -one, all about sponsorships. So we're going to have to go fast. We lost a couple minutes. And I apologize for that, so we can go a little bit over, but... Mark, if I'm a young racer and I'm really good at what I do and I'm winning races and I want to get sponsored, whether it's by iBox Springs or other sponsors, what kind of advice do you have? I know that you always look for content, but everybody says content. What, what in addition to content, can I do to get your attention? Uh, well, I think one of the important parts is to, you know, approach us or approach anybody any potential sponsor with uh, a program in place, um, you know, for us, and I think I can speak for a lot of other manufacturers, like we like to see that you've got your plan, you've got your schedule, you've got plans in place, you've got um, a media team, you know, um, like you just mentioned, there is, it's very important to me to have the uh, opportunity to hop into a Dropbox like day of event and start getting content from you, or from your media team, or from whoever, your mom, if your mom's out racing with you, whatever, just like have her dump stuff, like take pictures, put them onto um, Dropbox so we can go in and grab whatever we can get. Cause we, you know, we are all partners in this and, you know, people, you know, sponsorship, partnership, they go hand in hand. But I think what's important to remember is that um, companies can uh, expand your reach so exponentially. You know, we can work together on collaborative posts, you know, yes. um, and there's all sorts of things that we can do to expand your reach and also promote you. Uh, you know, we work together to promote each other. So, um, you know, for, yeah, for me, it's like, hey, this is our, you know, this is our deck, which uh, we know um, from our past experience, uh, you know, Coleman was one of your guys who came over with a very <laughs> professional uh, program and said, hey, like, I've got this giant red car with no logos on it. Uh, and here's my program. And I was like, well, okay, this is a really nice opportunity. So, you know, that's how we started working with uh, Jason Coleman, Coleman Motorsports. And he's been winning everything that he has been driving. So it's been nice. a great, a great, uh, great thing for us. Um, but even just actually to that point, winning is important, but it's not as important as the communication um and getting you know getting content to to your partners yeah. and then you were also saying when you and i spoke it's it's content is important obviously and all brands talk about that but we had a session earlier about transfer of technology and research and development you're not just looking for brand ambassadors to help you promote and market the brand you're looking for technical partners what, right. what can a racer on the call learn from the, that that you're you know how can they become a technical partner what does that mean so there's a couple ways to to kind of explain that. So some companies may offer product sponsorship and then some terms or some people use the term technical partner as that. So it's not a monetary thing, but what you can get from that partnership is as you build that relationship, you have an opportunity to work with our engineers and help get set up with our engineers and use our resources to help make sure you're performance is good and your success because ultimately your success is also our success. So, so I the think value in getting sponsored by iBox is not just that you're giving them product or, or uh, let's say money, but you're, the team is helping you uh, set up or you're helping the team set up the equipment on the car. Right. The Maybe not support. physically. Um, I, I can't promise physically. We have not, you know, we do, we, we do dabble with that, but um, you know, I will say that, you know, we are a resource. You can reach out. Um, there's a driver who uh, I don't know that he came through your program, but um, he is, was struggling with um, aerodynamic loads on his vehicle. And we had the right product for that. You know, we had this bump spring that is designed to keep the car level. So we worked directly with him to help develop uh, develop his suspension uh, further as he kept adding aero load and you know he just he just won his class in um, 
uh, World Time Attack, which is like a, a pretty big deal as the first American to to win over there. And those guys take take it very, very seriously over there. So, nice. um, you know, that's an example of a su successful development program. And as you as we continue to work together, um, there are opportunities for new products, you know, if um, through our through this particular example, we realize that we're missing a range of, you know, six inch, very high rate spring rates, because tires are getting stickier, cars are getting faster, loads are getting heavier, and um, dynamic loads are getting heavier. So we need to start actually getting like, getting a new product out there. So again, it's a very cooperative uh, partnership. So you're always developing new products. Um, does that mean you're looking for new teams? Are you actively looking or what, yeah, what, what I kind mean, of encouragement can we give racers on the call that might want to get sponsored? Sure. Uh, you know, we're always looking for new disciplines or new opportunities. Um, we have sponsored and partnered with teams from Formula, uh, Formula SAE, Baja SAE, all the way up to, uh, you know, Ultra Four and and beyond. So uh, actually, I mean, even Formula One stuff. Nice. So it's, um, you know, we're always looking for opportunities to work with anybody and uh, who is, uh, you know, passionate about motorsport and is a creator themselves or understands the, you know, uh, importance of working together and being aligned on that, on those efforts. Um, we might be a legacy brand, but we're a very small team, very small marketing team when, when in, in comparison. So we, you know, we rely on um, our teams to show people that we're out there and we're active nice. you know we're activating we're part of the part of the culture and we're we're out there as best as we can possibly be because we've got so many different products and our hands in so many different pots it's like really challenging to be everywhere with uh you know the staffing that we have well that's true I, well, i'm glad that you're here today to help us understand and for those of you who are interested in learning more Mark and I did a meet the sponsor session about a year, year and a half ago. Uh, I think it was 45 minutes to an hour where he went in depth about sponsorships. And if you're interested in getting sponsored by a brand like Eibach or even Eibach, um, he goes very much into detail what steps you can take. Um, and those recordings are available on my site. So I can make access to anybody who wants to watch that video. Just let me know. Mark, thank you. I, these are fast sessions. That's why we call it sponsor speed dating. Trying yeah. To get nine brands in, in the next hour and a half. Yeah, so thank you very much. Any last minute words of advice? You got 30 seconds. Brand looking uh, for, team looking for sponsors. Don't be afraid to ask, but make sure you define what you need. Say, uh, you know, show your interest, uh, pro make your proposal, and then define what you're looking for. Don't leave us guessing. Nice. Nice. Thanks, Mark.